This is a series of videos to uh, mark the publication of edition 2 of Wind and Solar and Electricity. It's, um, it's moved on considerably from edition 1, so it's well worth the upgrade. Anyway, here we go. This is the improvement to the solar boom. We have uh, four 12 volt panels and then two lots of 24 volt panels. So therefore we have three generating systems in parallel running on a 48 volt battery bank. I'm just going to show you the drive. Okay, I've just removed the rain cover that's normally just clamped in place and if you've seen the uh, part one of this video we've got a 24 volt motor chain drive gearbox wheel so I'm just going to show you this drive working at the moment Now, in part one, there was a micro switch here and one here. Well, this is work in progress, as usual. So, one of the micro switches is still there, and this block of wood acts as the stop. But what happens if somebody picks that up and wanders off with it and sits somewhere else? Then this would just keep going. Well, we've thought about that in two ways. The micro switch that was here. I've moved and I've put it up here so therefore it's worked by this pivot so here's the micro switch and it's actually it's about nine o'clock in the morning so it's actually in the off position but it's about three foot off the ground it's underneath the panels so therefore it's out the majority of the weather um, and I think it's better there although the adjustment is a lot finer uh, because there's not that much movement. Uh, a second change to this is if you look on the first video about this there was a set of wheels here well they wouldn't take it so basically we've got two big lumps of angle iron um, and another piece of box section so there are three points of contact, one there, one there and one at the front, with some grease. That seems to work really well. The weight is pushing that way, so therefore there's, it's not going to lift out of this shoe. So eventually I can move that micro switch up here and then those blocks can get sunk a bit further and we can mow across there. The problem with the micro switches down there, apart from somebody moving the block, is that last year I had to mow this several times because there's a load of tansy and thistles here and they were growing up to the point where they were operating the micro switch. Unfortunate. The other interesting bit is that here we've just got a standard two pin socket and plug and it's clamped there and clamped there so if for some reason this whole thing continues on it wouldn't be go more than about three foot and it would pull this plug apart so just and that's it you know the power is removed uh, by the action of that whole thing moving same way the other way around this is a different format for uh, tracking this on um, driven by the same electronics. This is a screw jack or electric ram um, and this whole frame pivots on these bearings there and down the bottom so it goes from there to there like that and this thready bar here will adjust the inclination this whole, this square face there 
that's facing due south. So it's effectively, a, it's an equatorial mount. And this has got two 250 watt 20 foot, nominal 24 volt panels. That means that the um, maximum power point on these panels is 30.4 volts. So that takes account of rising battery voltage and reduction in panel voltage as the temperature goes up. And there's a lot more detail about this sort of specifics uh, in the book and also there's a 200 minute series of videos on the Lily website um, on uh, all this system and batteries and you name it, grid ties, making your own solar panels etc. I'll put the links um, in the details on this video. This is a work in progress, uh, a cheaper way of setting out tracking. We've got a lighter weight ram and I'm using this because that's the one I've got. The, instead of having bearings on the end here, we've got a piece of box section coming down and a bolt through. The bolts are loose uh, with lock nuts, so it pivots on the bolts rather than on bearings. It's just a lighter, slightly lighter construction, and instead of the big lump of six inch tube and the angle iron welded around it, we didn't have enough tube, so we got six inch tube and then some three inch box slotted in the top and filleted around, um, and so therefore this is a bit lighter. That's a piece of just three inch box section and angle iron. So it just goes to show you can make these frames however you want. You know, look in the uh, pile of scrap around the back of the workshop and see what's there and uh, design it accordingly as long as it's strong enough. <laughs>